Hey guys, it's Celine here. If you haven't been here before, I definitely recommend you go and hit that subscribe button down below because I have so much to teach you when it comes to beauty and fashion, especially for beginners because I was very intimidated with some of this stuff when I started. As a woman, I know that we just love to look pretty, you know? Which I also find really strange because in nature, usually it's the male that is all dressed up. Like for instance, ducks. Male ducks are the colorful ones that are trying to impress the women. For some reason in the human species, women are the ones that want to get all pretty to get their attention. Although we're women, they're gonna want us anyway. Was that cocky? Well, whoever gets to deal with me gets to deal with my cocky ass. Today's tutorial is all about using this three heat setting, one step hair dryer and volumizer hot airbrush. This thing is amazing. I really liked using it when my hair was kind of longer. I still do like to use it on the short hair. The reason I do like this thing is the price wasn't too too bad. I mean it was like I think 60 bucks or so plus shipping which I don't recall the price on that. I'm sure it wasn't too bad. I really love this tool because it's a one step kind of deal. You don't need to use that round brush. You don't need to bring out the, the blow dryer. So much easier than having two hands going at once and honestly your arm gets tired. I know it's that kind of generation where we complain about holding two freaking tools about doing your hair. Hashtag first world problems. I know. This thing is also awesome because it gives you volume. You can style it by just curving it right on in. I feel like I'm blabbering, so let's just get into this tutorial. Holy crap, my hair is crazy. Ay ay ay. All right, let's go fix this crap. I'm gonna go shower super quickly. I've gone ahead and showered. A tip I'm gonna tell you that when you are gonna be showering, you wanna get more volume in your hair. I definitely avoid putting any conditioner by the roots. When I do do that, I realize that it's heavier and it's harder to give more volume. This is my sign language for volume, by the way. Volume. Who would love me? Who? Tell me who. First thing I like to do is go ahead and brush out your crazy, crazy, crazy hair. There we go, nice and brushed out. God, my hair is short. Before I start blow drying my hair, I like to go in with my Mark Anthony Bye Bye Frizz. This is a keratin, keratin? I could never be a scientist. I cannot pronounce shit. Carotene smoothing blow dry cream. The reason I like to use this beforehand is because my hair does get quite frizzy when I blow dry it, which is why I actually don't blow dry it very often, but I definitely realize this helps a lot. Basically, you're just gonna put some in your hand. You're gonna work your way through from the scalp all the way through. Now, don't go too, too heavy on it. I'm gonna show you how much I like to use. And keep in mind, my hair is quite short. I definitely don't need as much product. Product. Have you noticed I like to talk in an accent sometimes? I hope I'm not offending anyone. I probably am. What you gonna do? That might be a little bit much. We're gonna see what we can do. Actually, now that I've kind of smushed it around. Do you guys like my terms, by the way? Smushing. That reminds me of from Jersey Shore. Wasn't that like a smush room or something? Ah, oh, what a ridiculous show, but it made me so happy. We're gonna go into the roots. Start at the roots and work your way through. Make sure that your hair is damp still from the shower because this is a blow drying cream. Don't put it on when your hair's already dry. I don't know what will happen. I could try that out for you sometime. Maybe I'll make a video on things not to do because with beauty and fashion and all that stuff, you definitely make some mistakes along the way. I'm gonna work all the way through to the very ends of your hair. This stuff smells really nice too. That should do her. On to the fun part after I wipe my hands off. Yeah. Today I'm gonna be using this one step hair dryer and volumizer hot airbrush, which is freaking amazing because I used to use just like the round brush and then like a blower. It's just so much more work. Your arm gets really tired. Whoever invented this is a freaking genius. I bought this online from a company that I cannot remember the name right now. When it first arrived, actually, it was like flickering on and off and I was really upset. All of a sudden it's been working just fine. So it worked out, whatever. This thing is pretty awesome. It has three levels of heat, blowing levels. Oh my God, I need to find synonyms in my life. So as you can see, it's a round brush, air comes through the little tiny sockets within this bad boy. Before I start blow drying my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in sections just to make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna do the section below down here. So I'm just gonna take my, my fun thumbs. Hey, fun thumbs. <laughs> oh my God, how am I a human being? 
You're gonna put it above your ears. You're gonna slick it all the way back so your thumbs meet. And you're gonna bring up that layer. Doing this bottom layer right here first. Alrighty, Roo. Now, I'm gonna let you guys hear what this thing sounds like. I'm gonna let you hear it at all three levels. And then I'm gonna turn some music on because listening to this non-stop might drive you crazy. Not me, maybe you watching this video. Right, level one. Level two! Oh, it's quieter. Level three. Ah! That was weird. Level two was quieter than level one. I don't know what that's about. By the way, I like to do it in the middle level. And if I feel like it's going too slow and I'm super impatient, then I will definitely crank her up to the highest level. guys is sometimes when you blow dry your hair especially like with a round brush regardless if it's with this two-in-one kind of deal or if it's with the round brush and a separate blower sometimes things don't come out the way you want them to for instance back here some of the wave isn't going exactly the way I would like it so sometimes I just go back in with my spray bottle just a bit of water and I dampen it and I go back in with the brush I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about I just got this from the dollar store I'm pretty sure it's for plants <laughs> I'm a plant, I'm growing. I don't know if I'm a cute plant, but I'm a plant. I like certain plants. Although, I guess I don't treat that plant very nicely, considering if I really like it that much. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about right now? <laughs> so you're just gonna spray a little bit where I don't like the shape of it. That way I don't have to crank out my straightener every time. Sprayed it a little bit, now it's a little bit damp. I can just go back in with my blower, wave it to the shape that I would like. I almost didn't get through that sentence, holy crap. And there we have it, not too bad. Sometimes when I do really wanna go hardcore on the volume in my hair, I'll go ahead and tease it and you spray and all that jazz, but I'm pretty happy with the way it looks right now. It doesn't bother me. My hair feels so silky smooth from that Marc Anthony blow drying cream. It's freaking amazing. Price is not too bad. I just got it at Walmart. I definitely debated on doing my makeup for this tutorial, but sometimes I'm not in the mood for that. Shit. So this is the look. I'll give you a roundabout of everything. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope that this review on this product is something that you might look into. It is super duper helpful. I'm really looking forward to using this blower dryer all in one when my hair does get longer. Look forward to showing you how I would do the volume for it once my crazy bangs all grow out. I just can't wait for the bangs to grow out. What the? Please remember to subscribe, to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and to leave your comments down below of what you thought or if there's anything that you want me to review or any kind of styles you want me to try out, I'm totally down to be your guinea pig. Thanks for tuning in, bitches. I'll see you soon. <laughs>